I'll repeat the sutra once more. As breath turns from down to up, and again as breath curves from up to down, through both these turns, realize whenever the incoming breath takes a turn, as outgoing breath, it is And whenever the outgoing breath takes turn, becomes an incoming breath, again you experience the neutral space. Be aware of this two neutral space. You will see, you will be able to feel very clearly the incoming breath awakens energy, the outgoing breath awakens intelligence. Of course, in a way energy and intelligence are one and the same, two sides of the same coin. To give you a little deeper explanation, energy, intelligence, love, bliss, all these things are one and the same. When the consciousness expresses through your head, <coughs> it is intelligence, when it expresses through your heart, it is love. When it expresses through your being, it is energy. When it is there as it is, without moving, it is bliss. So, all four are same phenomena, different names, different names of same space. Now, it is time, we will work on the meditation technique. If you have intelligence without energy, it is curse, dangerous. Be very clear, it is curse, a small story. In a party, one guy goes near a lady and asks, please pardon me, but I am not able to resist noticing beautiful diamond in your finger. What is it? She said, oh yes, you must have heard about this, this Culbertson diamond, it is very popular. But it comes with a curse. He asked, what, what curse? Oh, that curse name is Mr. Culbertson. So, sometime, if you just get only intelligence or just get only energy, no intelligence, it is a curse. It is not a blessing. <laughs>